Hello guys, this is Palawili from Wild Design Studio. Today we want to look at extrusion, how to extrude. And from the dictionary, when we say extrude, the dictionary says forcing something out, to force or squeeze something out. Make by force through mold, to make something by forcing a semi-soft material such as plastic or molten material or metal. So it's to force something out. So today we want to see how we can force out a shape or something out from uh, a material. So in this case, uh, in Rhino series, we, f we can force something out from a curve and then force something out from what? A surface. So we can extrude a curve, we can extrude um, a surface. So let's get into it quickly. Um, let's draw just a curve, any curve on the screen. And then um, I'll make a couple of cylindrical objects as well, two different ones. Um, just to show you something and then probably um, square objects as well two square objects and then like I said we can also extrude a surface so let, let me create one surface objects here surface this is surface this is these are caves these are just closed curves. Uh, these are closed curves, and this is a surface because you can see that it is it is actually like a part of a box that has been removed or something like that. So this is a surface. We refer to these ones as a surface, and we refer to these ones as closed curves. Okay. So we look for we extrude this object. We are going to extrude this object. If you want to extrude a curve. A closed curve you go to surface the surface menu and you will see a extrude curve and depending on wherever the curve is if you are extruding a curve along a curve or you are extruding that curve as a, a straight or to a point or tape it I'll show you where the shortcuts are so in this case these work this work with extrusion of curve. You see the extrusion. You see extrusion of uh, surface over there. And from the solid menu too, you can issue the command or you can extrude a curve. From so in extrusion of curve, you can extrude curve from either solid menu or surface menu. But with surface menu, you have to extrude it from the solid menu. Okay, so. Um, you can type in extrusion from the command area or you can come to this menu here this menu or this tool from the toolbox and then you click on it you will see extrusion and here it gives out options about are we extruding surface or we are extruding a closed planner curve so these two prop pro, uh, can work on uh can be used to modify or to extrude the curve either the, the surface or the curve and then from the uh, solid tools or the surface tools which i normally use surface tool we can see extrusion we can see extrusion also here extrude here so here can be used to extrude a curve and then from the solid tools from the solid tool we can see extrusion which also gives us the option to extrude either a, a planar curve or to extrude a surface so let's get into this how to extrude and how how to extrude a curve or a surface and how it behaves during extrusion and the commands to, to, to give to allow so um, let's go to I'm using the solid menu and I'm going to extrude a planar curve so the command says extrude and it says select curve to extrude and I'm going to extrude one of these circles here and then press enter 
when you press enter it follows you as you can see it's a solid object it's coming up as a solid object because you can see that it has um two two intersecting lines crossing it from the top so it, as you can see it's a solid object so the, let's look at the way it behaves uh, here is because from the the command uh, prompt area it asks whether it's already automatically says solid and it says yes that means this object will have to be solid if we click on no or we click on yes here it will tend to it will tend to no that means we don't want a solid object so let's look at the two differences here so here solid is yes so we click and then it becomes a solid object so here it has no hole and it becomes a solid object now let's activate the command again if you want to activate a current command you right click the mouse or you press enter on the keyboard so the command comes again the command is out again now i select the curve press enter and it's what it's still creates or is extruding the the curve but in this case let's do some few changes here and see how it behaves so if we we don't want a solid object we can easily click on it and it tends to no so let's look at the difference now if it's yes if it's no so a no solid object can be created from this and so if we click we will see that there, 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 there's difference between these two objects this is the solid objects was yes and with this one the solid object we said no so this has become a surface and this has become a solid so in another um, situation we can reactivate the command this is the curve to extrude and in this case it is solid as well it is solid as well so in the in making it we can we have another command here uh, at the command area which says do you want both end to extrude now it is no if we click and it turns to yes you will see that it extrude from both ends it extrude see the way it's behaving it's extruding from both end if we say no it's extrude to the direction that your mouse moves so you see the wonderful thing about this extrusion so you can use this to extrude um to, uh, to do the extrusion and to deform or to modify it the way you want so uh, if you want it solid you select yes uh, if this is not a solid object now because the solid commands there we say no if it's yes that becomes a solid object as you can see it now now there is let's also issue the command from the surface area and see if it works the same so we go to a uh, surface and then we say extrude straight it says select curve to extrude you click on it press enter and then at the solid uh, the surface menu this object automatically becomes a surface so as you can see it's a surface because the command area we did not click whether it should be yes or no so we can do a solid object from the surface command or we can do a solid or surface from the solid command area so let me undo this and issue the command again from the solid menu straight and so select the curve to extrude press enter and it's also asking should we make it solid if we click on and it turns to yes this object becomes a solid object as well so see from both solid and then surface area we can have these objects created in uh, either 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 uh, solid or we make them what uh, surface uh, let me undo again and then 
from the surface menu again we can select kf press enter and it also asks whether we want both ends both ends, yes if you click on yes you see that anywhere you move the mouse both ends of the object will be extruding say no solid yes and it goes so in this case this is how we can make a solid or surface from a curve now let's make uh, extrusion from a surface so then like i said earlier we make surface extrusion from the solid menu so we go to solid we say extrude surface and then it asks which surface or select surface to extrude to extrude and i select this surface you will see that it will follow why is it moving in two directions because both was activated so if you don't want both side to extrude you only give it out this way so as you can see this is wonderful we have created a box from a surface we have extruded the surface to create a solid object we can also continue uh, creating surfaces a solid from the surfaces of this box to create a whole new object together let's reactivate the command by pressing enter or right click our mouse it says select surface to extrude i'll select one face of one surface of this box press enter and you see how it's going to move and it can also move or it can also uh, uh, move by either clicking on both ends to extrude make it solid or not making it solid all these applies to this uh, surface as well so we can uh, do adjustments to our solid our surface objects whenever we we are doing them and so i'll click reactivate the command and select this surface and extrude it out do another adjustment extrude this surface up select this surface extrude it up extrude it out and i can do a lot of things with this surface command this is a surface and i'll pull it up activate the command this surface pull it up and you see so this is one of the wonderful things on it and then finally let's extrude this curve too it's just a curve but it can extrude using the extrusion or the extrude command so we go to surface it's extrude planar curve or you can go to solid and say extrude planar curve straight or go to surface and then extrude straight whichever of them works perfectly and as you can see this curve has now become an extrusion or has been extruded now as you can see and you can also activate yes to both sides and you can see that both sides can extrude or no to extrude only one side of it and as you can see uh solid curve uh surfaces and curves have now become a solid object through extrusion thanks for watching i'll see you again with another basic commands in rhino series bye bye